Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today's video we are silaging. Silage 23 is going to be on the way. We're just heading to the field now. More is on. So Dad is also back there somehow. He's not too far behind me. Uh, so we're going to the field. We'll drop the drop the silage today. Get it on the ground. It is an absolutely fantastic day. Sun is splitting the trees just has to feel it somewhere about it. That's exactly what you want when you're going to go silage it. So yeah. Decided to be going to do a bit of mowing. First proper mowing of the year. Alright, so we're moving away, uh, making good headway. We're probably almost a third of the way, a little bit over a third of the way through field number one. Uh, crop, crop is overall fairly good. Be very happy with with the crop. Now there is a little bit down at the bottom, which right behind us. You might, might be just able to see that the stubble that we're leaving is a little greener than the rest of it. And the reason for that is the this is actually the field. That we that I cut back in February that I took the, just took the grass off and the water came out on it after after the grass was taken off after we took the grass off it in February uh, that really the really wet March water came out of it a couple of times and it meant then that when I went to slurry this field there was a few acres down at the bottom I couldn't get slurry on it did get liquid fertilizer liquid nitrogen but couldn't couldn't slurry it so kind of knew that it would be even lighter than the rest of it and that's just kind of what has happened uh, so yeah with a few acres down the bottom it's a little bit lighter than the rest of it but overall the rest of it's not a bad crop nice crop of grass a lovely clean crop of grass so yeah overall very happy with it so yeah we get a uh, we'll keep going and see as we get across the field we'll I'll report on uh, just how uh, how the rest of us do. All right, so just we're on the home straight now in this field. Uh, just finishing off a little bit around the headlands, but overall, uh, be very happy with the the grass in this field. A few bits of it I'd like to it was just a bit stronger, or like around around what the rest of it was. Those two three acres down the bottom, but overall very happy with it. Uh, it'll bulk up quite nicely considering the springtime that we had. Uh, it'll do 100 so we'll get this field finished and we'll head on to the next field and see what it's like so uh i don't know i'd say it should be i, I will say it, it might be stronger than this field or it might be a little better uh, both wise but we'll see when we get there we'll see when we get there so yeah finish off the last bit and uh, get down the road
so we're in field number two you've seen the first little bit around the ditch you might have noticed that it is quite a bit heavier than field number one uh, this here was uh, this here was stitched in last year after the second cut we stitched some new grass into it uh, what's going on here why is he stopped breakage something broke all right so the stoppage was only something minor uh, he had passed over a group row and a little bit of grass had went round the, the dry shaft and he had seen it so he just stopped pulled it off and away we go again it super crop of grass it hasn't gotten any lighter as we're crossing the field we're over halfway through now and uh, yeah it's just a lovely crop of grass uh, this year we'll need we'll not lift this field first because it's so heavy it's still a little bit damp in the bottom but when it's mowed out now and it gets sort of all day tomorrow which is a good day and then all day Saturday it'll have loads of time to dry out so there'll not be too much moisture in it so we leave this here onto the second field to lift uh, so yeah but going well a uh, little bit of drone footage now that I have taken and we will put that up next and yeah see a bit of footage of the tractors from the sky
Alright, so we'll finish this field down to the headland, but let me see where we just located there about 10 minutes ago. Washing out of the river, obviously, debris. That's, somebody asked me last year, why do I always roll these fields? And usually, they're grazed, we roll them for, firstly, if there was any marks or any poaching or anything done from the previous year, uh, and also to find debris from the river. So that's the main reason why we did it. This year was so wet, we didn't get them rolled, because they really only started to dry out over the last number of weeks. So, wasn't seen, didn't see that when we were slurrying it, but then a few weeks after we slurried it earlier in the year, the water came out, burst it onto the field, and the bottom half of the field was covered in water here. We have two fields that that, does, that happens on, so it obviously washed out of the river. But look, we found it, done no harm, but you would like to get into the harvest stuff. Anyway, we'll get the headlands finished here, and that will be field number two done. Okay, we're into field number three, and just doing the initial rounds around the headland. Uh, this field isn't as heavy as field number two, but it's heavier than field number one. So this is probably, and the grass looks like it, it's a lovely leafy crop of grass. Now there is some small amounts of it is headed out, but not very much. Mostly all you see is leaf. So this is really nice stuff. This is the kind of stuff that you really want all your silage to be like. Uh, but yeah, looks good. Looks good. Looks uh, looks drier just from what I can see so far. Uh, looks drier than the, the heavier crop. So yeah, uh, we we'll get this mowed down, and then we'll see. Might be a small fort field that we might be going to cut, or maybe not. We'll we'll discuss that at the end when we're finished here. Whether we're going to cut it, maybe three acres in the other field. So we might cut it. So yeah. Going well. All right, so we're just doing the initial opening round, uh, or rounds round field number three. So, so far my initial thoughts on field number three is that uh, it's not as heavy as field number two. It's heavier than field number one. And it's a lovely looking leafy crop and very, very even. So yeah, looks a lovely crop of grass. Now I thought I did see a couple of wee bits of chickweed in this field, uh, but couldn't be 100% sure. Uh, we'll know a bit later on when we get through it, uh, back down that end of the field, but there might be a little bit of chickweed in it. So yeah, we'll see. That was a nice one to hit on the first round around the ditch. However he got out. It's all fenced on this side, so unless maybe there was animals the far side that just rolled through. Oh well. No harm done.
we're done. Just finished there now. It's about quarter to quarter to eight. It glided over quite nicely, I have to say now, from about four o'clock the sun disappeared. But up until that it was a cracker of a day. Uh, then this side now is where I seen some of the chickweed uh, down along here. Let's see. Somewhere around here. There's some there I think. Is it? I didn't to find any there at the minute, but i definitely seen chickweed down around this area earlier. Uh, chickweed, there's chickweed though. Little bit of it, not much. Little bit of it. Seen just a few pockets of it down here, but it seems to be mostly down this side of the field. Uh, the rest of the field's fine. The other two fields, seen very little of it there either. I didn't actually see any of it in the other two fields. I've seen very few docks. I've seen one dock on this field here. This None of this was sprayed this year. We sprayed it all last year. Uh, I don't know if it was before the first cut or the second cut last year. Everton, all the sail, I think it was before the first cut, all the sail of the was sprayed. So it was a great kill on it. And it's still very clean. I expect it to be more chickweed, to be honest, than this. But yeah, no, it it's, it seems to have kept it on the uh, under control, which is which is great. Uh, overall, I'm happy with the grass. This field is lo it's lovely grass in this field here. This is ideal. The second field we done, which was the really heavy crop, I'd actually like if it had if it had been cut a week ago, it would have been better. Uh, it's the field that got some new grass uh, drilled into it last year, but it also has New Zealand grass in it, and the New Zealand grass. It's in about 10 years and it grows like a degree, degree or two less temperature than uh, your average grass. The beauty of that is uh, it gets a great start uh, early in the year when the weather temperatures is cold, but it means it's usually, you nearly want your whole farm, you'd want your whole, well, and your cutting, you nearly want it all in that New Zealand grass because you'd be able to cut that wee bit earlier. So, but look, it, it is what it is. Uh, Produces great crops of grass, and I suppose with the new grass now coming in, it'll start to compete more with the New Zealand grass. The and you know it should, it should smother maybe some of it out, and maybe it'll come to the fore, and it'll match in a wee bit better with the other two crops. The first field, I was happy with it in the top three quarters of it, but just that bottom two three acres where it's a bit light, uh, where the where we we couldn't get slurry out, and so I expected it to be a bit less than the rest. So. It is what it is, you know, it's fine. Uh, overall, it, it should it should yield fairly well. Uh, we're not going to cut a small fort. There's another field. It's only three acres. It's like the top end of uh, another field. And we were thinking about cutting it, but we're going to leave it. We'll see. If the weather's good next week, we'll maybe drop some of it or drop it, and we'll shake it out for a few days and maybe get a bit of haylage of it or something like that. Uh, so we're not too, not too panicked with it. But yeah, more worked well. Uh, no hiccups other than the, the stone that we found over here. It hit the stone and just kind of rolled out of the way. Didn't even bend the blade. Uh, which, yeah, lucky enough, it was a decent sized stone. Uh, and then the, we found the paling post that washed in the river and another one as well, which is actually bigger than it. It was lump of, it's the same size roughly, but it was much heavier stuff. It was like a bit of a tree that also got washed in. So we found that too. So, but no harm was done, and uh, yeah, happy to, happy that no harm was done. Uh, anything else? Uh, two on five. It's roughly, I'd say, about the same diesel usage as six nine thirty. It's no less. Uh, you know, it's using going up this. This is quite a steep hill. It was using like twenty four liters going up the hill an hour, and then coming down it was using like fifteen. In the other fields, I was using in around the twenty nineteen twenty as an average on flat. So, and that's roughly what the 1630 is using. So, uh, there's nothing in it, roughly about the same. Uh, and both tractors is in 540 economy. But it will be interesting to see how it performs on the GF with the 1000 economy. I'm interested to see, hopefully, it'll be using less diesel. Uh, the lock on it, I think there's a better lock on it, especially after doing the mowing with it now this year. Uh, more so this than early in the year, I was going slow. The ground was a little tricky. I wasn't trying. I was trying not to mark it. The ground's dry now here at the minute. You can swing around, turn whatever you do, do what you want, but it's not marking it. And I think it's, I think it's a better lock on it than the six nine thirty. Uh, 
with the way the wheels is, I think there's a better lock on it because uh, I was able to maneuver the more better with this in the 6930, which I'm very surprised at and uh, pleasantly surprised, would say. So I don't know if this is going to be the end of the video. You'll know now on roughly how long is left on it. If it is, uh, then the next video we're going to have is going to be lifting the silage. If it's not, and it's going to continue on for another number of minutes or five minutes or ten minutes or whatever it is, then the silage end of things is pretty long and I've put it in here. So I'll see. I might edit it tonight, depending on how long it is. Uh, that could determine when it goes up. So, uh, yeah, or how much longer there is. Uh, so if there's no more video, uh, we'll see you in the next one. If there is, we'll see you in a minute and we'll have the harvester on.